By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to brainstorm a million dollar business idea this weekend. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to make a list, actually list out on a piece of paper the different ideas that you have. Now, how can you spur ideas? Well, there's a few key things to keep in mind. Think about what are you passionate about? What are things that you love doing, that you're passionate about? Now, don't think about whether or not those things can make money yet. You're just brainstorming. You're coming up with ideas of things that you love. Maybe you're passionate about cars. Maybe you're passionate about marketing like I am. Well, that's kind of funny, right? List out all the different things that you're passionate about, that you're excited about. Now, the next step is in that same list, now you got all the things you're passionate about, list out all the different things that you have skills and expertise in. Now, this doesn't have to be this massive expertise you have, just list out the different things that you've done, right? Maybe it's something focused around, you've, you've launched an ad, maybe it's a, a, you know, a YouTube ad, a Facebook ad, maybe it's marketing, right? Maybe you helped um, build a, a Facebook account for, for somebody, or or you, you've done TikTok, you like that, right? List out the different things that you have skills in that you, 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 know, you actually know you can do well. Now, maybe it's something like uh, cooking, right? Cooking is something that you could have a skill in. Maybe it's something uh, like an escape room that you're, you're really good at, right? Maybe it's something that you really have a high degree of skills in. Again, there's so many infinite possibilities. Uh, it could even be something as simple as uh, building or construction or uh, using technology, right? Very skilled in using technology. There's a lot of people that aren't. You can turn that into a business. So just come up with these different ideas. Think about what am I skilled in? So now you've got all the things you're passionate in. Now list out all the things that you're skilled in. Now the next and final step of coming up with this brainstorming list, remember you're listing all these out, even if it seems like a crazy idea, write it down. Map out everything you're passionate about, map out everything you have skills in. The final step is to come up with all the different ideas that you think is feasible for yourself that you believe is a million dollar business idea. Notice I said that's last, right? What are some of the business ideas that you had? You might have these ideas floating around in your head, right? An idea about a certain type of business that you can create, a certain thing that's gonna be valuable. And so list those out. So you're gonna come up with what those ideas could be. And then the final one is to think about problems that you've had or other people have had, maybe problems in the industry, maybe problems that anybody in one of these other areas of business may have had, and list out all of those problems as well. So now you have four categories. You have all the things that you're passionate in. You have the things that you're skilled in. You have those business ideas, those kind of ideas that pop into your head. And then you also have problems that either you've had or you've heard other people have had, right, that could be a business. So you list all of those out and put them all into a spreadsheet. And hopefully by this point, you try and have at least 10 ideas per section. Now, you know how this really gets your, your brain flowing is really to think about, you know, okay, this idea, well, maybe there's this other idea or this other thing that I'm passionate about or this other thing that I'm interested in or I have a skill in or, you know, I've had this problem or other people have had this problem or, you know, this is a business idea that popped in my head. Write all of these down. Now, no Notice, I'm not saying any particular one of these is necessarily a million dollar business idea yet. I'm gonna show you how to actually rank these and determine which one is truly a million dollar business idea in this exercise. Now you have all these different ideas listed out. You put them all into a spreadsheet. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna rank them in different categories. So you're gonna rank them on a scale of one to 10, one to 10 with how passionate you are about that idea. Now notice the categories in the passionate section probably are gonna be a little bit more you know, higher, right? So this is gonna be a little bit higher. But you're gonna rank them on a scale of one to 10 with how passionate you are. So if it's something you're incredibly passionate, rank it a 10. If it's something that you're not as interested in, rank it a one, right? So 10 being the best, one being the lowest. And you're gonna go through that list and rank every single idea that you have. Now, the next one is you're going to rank your skill level or also your ease and ability to execute on this idea, right? So what is the skill level you have around each of these, right? And again, you do have a skill section, but you're ranking everything, the passion section, the skill section, the business ideas, the problems. You're gonna be ranking all of these on a scale of one to 10, 10 being you have the highest degree of skill, you're incredibly confident in your ability to execute on this idea. One being, I don't really have the skill, it's just a good idea, right? So one to 10, you're gonna rank every single idea on that list. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to rank the business idea itself. Is this a good, in your mind, business idea? And you gotta get a sense, right? How 
monetizable is this? How, you know, successful do you think this would be? Do you see this, you know, as a million dollar business? Do you see this as like, this is solved as a million dollar business? Do you see this as, yeah, it's probably just a hobby, not really monetizable, not really a good business idea. I just wrote it down because I'm passionate about it, which can be the case. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being, this is a pinnacle business idea that can make me at least millions of dollars, right? Or not just necessarily you, but just make somebody who executes on it the right way, millions of dollars. One being, it's probably just a hobby. It's not really monetizable. So with a scale of one to 10, rank every single idea there. And so what you're gonna wanna do is rank all of those individually. Then what I want you to do is also rank how how much of a problem is this? How much, uh, you know, is this something that's already been solved or is this something that's brand new? So 10 being, this is a major problem and there's really not a lot of solutions to it. One being, uh, there's a lot of solutions out there or it's not really a problem, it's not something I'm really interested in. So scale of one to 10. So now you're ranking in all four of these categories. So you're gonna have a score out of 40 for each of these. So then you just add them all up in an Excel sheet. So you actually go over and you add up all of the individual columns. And then what you're going to do is sort that Excel sheet by the highest ranked idea first descending. So you're going to sort it descending. So now you're going to have the highest score ideas up top and the lowest ones at the bottom. And here's the secret. You're going to take those top five ideas. So you start with 40 ideas, you rank all of them in four categories on a scale of one to 10. You have a score out of 40. And then you're going to take those top five ideas. You're going to see some ideas that have a higher degree right, that have higher scores. And if they have a higher score, that means you're passionate about them. They have, you, you know, uh, you have skills around it, right? So you can actually execute on this. It is a business idea that's monetizable and there's a need in the marketplace. It's an actual problem. There's not a lot of people solving it, right? If you have all four of those things, where is it ranked? And you're gonna rank all of these together. Now, the reason we assign a score is just subjectively going through. You're not necessarily gonna have the best idea around each, each one. Like, oh, I think this is a better idea than this one, but it's not actually quantitative. You wanna use real hard data and actually analyze every single idea, a scale of one to 10 for each idea, and you're gonna come up with a score out of 40, rank them, take your top five ideas, and then those are the ideas that you then wanna create a paragraph around how you would actually execute. Now, you can create a paragraph if you like writing, or you could create bullet points if you think more in bullet points. That's kinda of how I am, right? I might think in bullet points. What would you actually do to execute on this? Then you take those different ideas and you wanna say which of these ideas can I really go, can I really do, can I really execute of those five ideas and then start working on those. Now, that is the way to actually create that million dollar business idea. And you could do that this weekend. You could come up with five different business ideas this weekend to see, okay, here's all the different business ideas I can do and then start going in and I recommend saying, I'm going to do this one. Now, if that one doesn't work out, you have four more that are on deck ready to go, but I would start with one of those top five. It doesn't have to be the number one. Look at the top five, come up with your business plan and then start executing on that idea. And that is how you can come up with a multi-million dollar business idea this weekend. So if you wanna learn how to turn that business idea into a full business, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notifica notification icon so that you never miss a video. We're gonna come up with no more videos showing you exactly how to execute on your new business idea that you have created. Let us know what your business ideas are down below. Maybe even list the top five and we can give you some feedback on which one we think is the best. If you're looking to implement this, one of the ways that we recommend doing it is through our video clients strategies. I have a full 30 minute video that shows you how you can actually grow your first business using organic video on every platform without spending a dime on ads. The link is down there in the description below. And make sure to share this video with a friend. Maybe they can, you, can, they can, you can come up with different ideas together and see what video is gonna work the best. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.